When I see this purse, I see myself. I'm Gia Gia and welcome to my channel. Oh, it feels so good to be able to say that. Bro, if you have an idea- Just do it! Okay, especially now, if you were like, oh, I really want to do YouTube, but this isn't that- Just do, do it! it! Okay, literally forget what other people are thinking. I know I'm starting this video off kind of weird, but you don't understand how excited I am to be doing this channel. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'm so excited. Like, you guys have no idea. This video is so simple. It's literally just a purse collection. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited that, um, we're doing this right now, okay? So, first and foremost, I have some bags over to the side, and the reason that I chose this video to do is because I recently was cleaning out some of my purses, and I just bought two new purses. Um, so I can't remember what order I got these purses in, so it's going to be very random. I'm sorry if you expected to see, like, oh, my first purse and stuff like that. It's a very short collection video. When I see this purse, I see myself okay and i've been going into like this intuitive shopping type of mindset where i only buy something if i'm really excited about it if i'm sitting down with an object and i'm like i don't know if i could wear this with anything but it's, it's more than just like do i have an outfit to go with it it's like do i even see myself really being like this or do i just think it's cute because you can think something is cute and it's not for you without further ado let's get into the purse collection so this purse was gifted to me by my mom and it's a coach handbag. When my mom gave this to me, she told me like, oh, it's like a vintage kind of style. Um, and she actually got it um, from a purse vendor. Um, and I can't remember actually if it was a purse vendor or just a friend of hers that was giving away purses. Um, but this purse has been one of my favorites because it's just a simple handbag. It's classy. It's good for work. It's good, you know, if you're just out with the girls. You can use this for so many different purposes. And it, you know, see it has a little coach tag on it. <laughs> It has a lot of space in it. I am personally the type of girl that likes to carry kind of like a medium to small handbag size because I don't carry a lot of items. Um, and especially when I'm going out moving around a lot, I don't like to keep track of a lot of things. This is the perfect in-between bag. It's a perfect everyday bag. Um, and the color is just like absolutely gorgeous. I do think that the style of the bag and the fit of the bag is good for different occasions I've worn this um for interviews I've worn this for um just you know a day out it's a definitely a good multi-purpose bag and especially if you just want that classy look you don't want something that's too flashy you want something that's reliable the quality of the bag like exceeds just like the presentation of it because it, it just is so durable um it's very long lasting it's definitely a bag I feel like I'll have in my closet forever um Bag number two, let's do a complete opposite of that bag. So while that's like a timeless piece, that's the word I was trying to think. Going on to something I got for fun was this bag. And it's a little basketball purse. I love this purse. I mean, I remember going on Instagram and you know, people complain about everything. And they're just like, oh my gosh, y'all carrying these little ba basketball purses around, so lame. But I was like, this is really really cute i haven't gotten the opportunity to use this yet because i haven't been in a setting where i would go and use it because i was like if i ever go to a basketball game and i'm like cute you know sitting courtside or whatever this is really like the perfect bag okay so it opens straight down the middle and it's like a little coin purse you see that and then it also has a chain that you can wrap around and where personally even outside of just going to a cute basketball game and, and, and having this purse i feel like this is definitely a statement piece i could definitely build an entire outfit of this i just think of like an all black outfit and then like this you know with the gold and like some nice jewelry to kind of set it off it's just definitely a piece that i feel like yeah if you're just having it randomly it, it just seems out of place but in the right occasion which for me would be like special events you know special not just any game like specifically a basketball game because it is a basketball person but also if you think about the setting i'm perf i'm referring to indoors i feel like this is definitely an indoors type of bag um i just feel like it's something that you want to just have cute you're sitting you know you're not really moving around a lot i personally haven't used it very much 
so I can't tell you and account for all the rhinestones. I do though do know that there's more expensive versions of this bag. I personally got this bag from AliExpress. I had like a huge AliExpress phase. I was buying like everything from AliExpress and I like it. I mean, I'm definitely seeing myself wearing this with like an all black type of outfit for like some type of indoor dinner, you know, basketball event. And especially if you play basketball, I feel like it would be super cute to have to like a, a luncheon dinner. Um, or something like that. It's definitely that type of bag. Definitely like more of a statement bag. Definitely not an everyday piece compared to this. I mean, that's the only story I have behind this bag. Sorry, it's not like anything deep. I wasn't even gonna include it in this video because I was like, it's a little funky piece, but it's, it's a cute bag. I mean, it's a cute bag. The next bag, okay, um, is going to be this yellow purse. And it's like a side, side strap. You know, you could just Put it like this or you can wrap it around i used to wear these type of purses all the time as a kid <laughs> to the point it made me sick like i'm so serious bro because i would have these purses but you have to remember like it's the same size purse but as an eight-year-old that it's at your knees you know what i'm saying it's not a satchel yeah it's a satchel but like you know those laptop bags you remember when that was a thing a laptop and it was like those big like oversight oh my gosh people don't carry those anymore hey sorry the camera just fell and i had to set it up again it was just blowing my mind because when i use these purses like it was just too big at the time i have a nostalgic attraction to side bags and side purses this bag in particular i got from nordstrom rack and i believe the brand is bebe so i'm sitting here editing and it's definitely pronounced bb <laughs> bebe I'm definitely saying that wrong. I don't know if you can see that. I like the design of the purse. Um, and when I bought it at first, it was just kind of like, it's kind of like a lemony yellow. And I was like, hmm, is this gonna throw off my brand? Yellow is a color you gotta strategically know how to pair with things. And yes, yellow can go with a lot, really. Personally, I don't see myself wearing a lot of cool tones. I'm not somebody that is that gravitates towards that. But yellow is a color I feel like that looks really good on me it's a color that i really like to wear so when i saw this purse i was like yeah definitely for me and then when i went home i was ready to wear it i was wearing it out it's definitely the type of purse you can have like as a casual bag and then i would also put it in the category of maybe a statement piece while the design itself may not seem like a statement piece i feel like the color is definitely a statement i think i wore a yellow dress with this one article of clothing that is yellow and the rest is like black or brown this really kind of like i don't know shakes up the outfit a bit on to the fourth bag oh so i have this bag and it's another coach bag i don't know i just use this bag when say i need to carry my laptop somewhere and i'm like going someplace to kind of just sit or if i'm just gonna stay at a friend's house for like a night or a day it's big enough just for that but I'd say it's perfect for like um, school, you know, if you're or like a meeting or if you're just the type that say this type of bag, you know, it's just not enough for everything you do. You carry around notebooks, you know what I'm saying? You carry around like your yarn or your embroidery or just something, some type of project with you, something outside of just the essentials. I think every woman needs some type of black tote bag because I mean, you know, and especially if you have kids or something, this is a great bag um say if you're like going to church or something or you're just going somewhere you need to be able to pull you know tissues or something out your purse like okay yeah you could do that with that but my point is you can keep a lot of things in here can kind of just give me that that grown woman feel to my life. so i have this wallet which is a victoria's secret wallet and it's like the card one i'm sure you guys have seen this on pinterest mom bought it and i took it from her basically because i was like this is the cutest thing ever and she wasn't using it so i was like girl let me see that i definitely recommend this wallet i still use it if i'm just going out and i just need my cards or like you can keep cash in here as well um i, re I really like it it's just oh it's it's a really good like little wallet and look at that little kiss like it's just so cute like every time i pull it out it's like hmm. also i really like this wallet because sometimes i carry purses that don't fit my regular wallet this is my regular wallet. i don't know why I keep, i'm so scared to show you guys at the same time but i have this wallet now and the reason i upgraded is because my mom actually got me this wallet i think it's called travel lamp yeah this is the wallet 18 pockets counting the id pocket um so lots of card room then it has like two like zippers and you can close this way apparently and 
and this is just what she told me she's like downtown or just like anywhere there's like this new technology that can like scan your wallet and and they can hack into your information um and just like steal everything they just kind of like go by and this has like a magnet in it so that no one can do that you know, everyone's doing apple pay everyone's just doing online banking and like transactions so i'm sure there is a technology that can kind of scan your information and take so this has a I, I want to say like magnetized protection of that. I don't know how it works, but it does prevent people from being able to just kind of swipe past your information and take it. And now we are down to, let's see, we've done four bags so far, counting two wallets. And now that I've showed you the bags that I've kind of had for a while, I'm going to show you the bags that I'm really excited about and the bags that I've just got. You know, these bags are very new to my collection. My Telfeezy! You know I had to pull out the Telfeezy you already know i was so excited to do this that's exactly why i put it back in this bag this, ooh. Uh. Woo! you know i had to give me one um and i got red because my theme of this year i don't have a favorite color um i just have like theme colors really um because I just think it's a lot of commitment to say that I have a favorite color. I wore this for my birthday and I got it I think like a month or two before because you know when you order a Telfar you don't get it right away. I really love the quality of it. I believe it's vegan leather and it doesn't have any pockets. Um, No inside pocket. But this is my favorite thing to bring out if I'm like going to um, the bar or like a party or like the club. You know stuff like that. Like stuff where... You know, you don't want to have a big bag with you trying to keep up with it the whole time. I definitely do get the hype and I definitely think it's a nice piece to have. And I'm so happy to have at least one in my closet. I just got my mom um, the, the uh, it's like a navy blue color and it's like a medium sized bag um, because she likes bigger purses. So uh, I would say that. So I actually really do want to talk about the size because if you're thinking of getting a Telfar and you're like, I don't really know what size I want. Um, if you, you can't fit too much into here. Actually, let's, let's use my purses as my wallets as an example, right? This type of wallet is like perfect. And then you can fit like a little camera in here, your phone, your keys. This is like essentials. Like you just need this stuff to survive the night, right? This is like essentials and then some. And then like the tote bag is like your entire life, you know, I'm <laughs> the medium size one is definitely bigger than this purse. But this fits in there. And this is what I mean. This does not, at least without sticking out, it actually is really cute and it stands out. So if you're thinking about getting it, get it. Um, and it looked really, really nice. So tell Feezy gang. I want to talk about Aldo. This purse. I, I love this purse. Like when I saw it in the store, I just bought it you know what I'm saying I was like yeah but like I said I'm an intuitive shopper like I literally will not I it's very easy for me to go to the mall or like go to any store and I need like any place and walk out and buy nothing because I don't see anything I like and I just don't like to buy stuff that I don't already want I follow this girl on Instagram um her name is Samaria um she's dating to see the rapper and uh she mentioned on her story at some point that she was um like she she wore aldo purses all the time before she was able to afford designer and then i was like oh okay i really i i want to look more into that because i i'm not really in a position to buy like super nice designer bags i mean i'm very thankful for what i have but you you're not gonna see like a ysl purse a chanel purse i definitely really would love to have like um a really nice chanel purse as my first purse i want the chanel flap yeah but you know that's like one of the goals of mine um when i get to that point in life but this um this actually reminded me of that uh one ysl purse and i was like this is cute like i really like the style of it and i just could not i couldn't even get past like the presentation of this purse i love the chains i love the black chains um and i love the way it sits up it, it, it just kind of like you know what I'm saying? I, I, I love it. And then when you open, it has uh, two little things right there. And that's the 
inside. As you can see, I didn't even take the paper out because I haven't used this purse yet because I've just been so excited. You know when you get something, you don't even want to touch it? Um, I just want to use it on a really nice occasion. So it has a lot of space. It's very, very spacious. So let's do our, 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 our wallet test. And this wallet fits perfectly and there's still space to put other things in here. There is no zipper on the back. It doesn't go all the way down. It kind of stops halfway. So the zipper um, pocket stops about like midway. So it's not a super deep pocket. Keep that in mind. So there's these little, oh, I just noticed this. There's actually these little slots right here that you could put things in. I really, really like that. Um, it's definitely that kind of purse that has more space. It's definitely more of like a consistent purse. I can see this being something I carry every day. Um, not really right now because I'm in school. Um, but if I was just going to work every day, like especially when I'm when that's going to be like my everyday routine is just going to work and, and you know, like having little errands to run and stuff like that and going to dinner like that just becomes my regular. This is definitely a bag for that. I believe this bag was about 70 80 dollars something like that um so definitely if you're like hey i really like these designer bags but i'm not trying to go broke and i don't have the means of getting that you know right now but you want a nice alternative like uh, and the quality of it is really good it's not just a nice bag you know what i'm saying like i can definitely tell this will last me a while it's definitely something i want to take care of it's not something i want to be super rough with and i was literally on the hunt for alternatives because i was like i can't afford designer right now and i can't pretend that i can afford designer right now um, but I know, you know, every woman is not carrying around a designer person. They still look good. You know what I'm saying? So what, what are they using? Aldo. Don't sleep on Aldo. Okay. Walk in that store a couple times. You, you'll find you something you like. I promise. Now for my very last bag, I got this for Christmas and I'm so excited. Actually, there's a wallet included as well. I'm so thankful because my mom got me this and I wasn't even expecting it. Um, I, I really wasn't expecting it, um, but I love it so much. And it's another crossbody. That's the word I was trying to think of, crossbody. So crossbody, I wonder if I call it a side satchel. I don't even know, but <laughs> crossbody bag. Coach bag. And it has a pocket in the back. So, you know, and no pocket in the front. I like that. I really like that because I have a coach bag. Like, yes, this is a coach bag. And this other one is a coach bag. Um, but I would say this coach bag, this coach bag, this coach bag, right? And I have another coach bag at school. So there are two purses I'm not including in this video because they're away at school right now. But I, I still wanted to post this. So, I mean, if you see them in the future, great. But the thing I noticed in common about these two coach bags is that they both have pockets in the front, right next to like the symbol. But this bag doesn't. And I don't know why that makes it even more appealing for me because I think I prefer when that front pocket, when that little like extra pocket on the outside of the purse is in the back. Because then, I mean, it's fine when it's in the front, but I just feel like it gives it a cleaner look on the front and then you can kind of hide all your stuff in the back. This purse is really good for jeans. Um, It's really good for casual wear. Like I definitely see myself wearing this as an everyday purse. So inside, I don't know if you guys can see that at all actually, but there's two pockets in here, um, almost like the card holder pockets. Um, so you have that. And then on this side, it's just like one big pocket. Um, and I would say there's a lot of depth. Let's, let's do the wallet test again. I like to use this big wallet to see. And I can fit it in here. Had to, you know, squeeze it in there a little bit, but it's definitely not, it's not taking up too much space. I mean, I still have room for other things. You know, you're, you're not in as consistent in the times that you're dressing up. I would say the, the Aldo bag is more so for people who are like consistently dressing up, consistently going out. I think both bags are very nice. I just feel like this one is more casual and this one's more like classy. I definitely just see it. While you can use this as a casual bag, it's like classy casual. It's like business casual. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then she got me a wallet that matches and I'm so happy. Like, this is so cute, bro. Like, come on. Like, Oh my god, like, I, I just feel like a woman, okay? I felt so, because, because yeah, I either have one or the other. This purse and this matching wallet, ah, I can't even get into the wallet, bro, because I'm just so excited. Like, literally, <laughs> I'm just so tickled. I'm really just so tickled, because, like, 
this is the cutest thing ever bro and like this this was actually inside of here so like when i carry this purse i most likely will be carrying this wallet as well oh my mom also got me some coach earrings so i'm just gonna show you guys now because it's in the bag but but yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. look at that it has a little bit of pocket and uh it has like one card holder pocket and then it has like a no it has like two card holder pockets it's definitely not a wallet if you need um all the different dividers so like this wallet has all the dividers in it um this wallet also has dividers this wallet does not it has two so maybe like your most important cards but like this is good for like cash receipts like you just you just putting stuff in your wallet you don't really care about um like keeping everything separate sorry i really hope this angle's okay i've i've had to pick up my camera again but i'm almost done bear with me uh, come on iconic duo um this would be like a date night purse and then this is like a day purse like going on a date during the day oh yeah that's a great idea like that 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 is basically how i would define the difference between these two because i'm like they're both they both can be used casually but just still it's different setting all right guys um thank you for watching my first video if you made it this far um i'm really really excited i i didn't think i could do it and i hope i wasn't too confusing i hope that you all got the message and i hope that this video was informative i hope i gave somebody some ideas and i can keep going i hope this i hope that you know <laughs> um but thank you so much for watching um i plan to have more videos in the future uh so just sit tight and stay tuned I don't have like a signing off thing to say, but um, thank you. Just thank you for watching. Dang.